Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Cullen Jewelry YouTube channel. I'm Juliette, and today is our second video in our new mini series where we take you behind the scenes of our recreating process. Now, I've got a very special client today. She requested to stay anonymous and go under the alias of Regina Falange, which if you know friends, that's a reference. <laughs> so she requested for us or for me to take her behind the scenes of creating her ring. Now, if you've watched our first video in this series, you would know that our casting process is done at a different location. So today we're gonna to be setting the stone. So we'll be going into the workshop with our jeweler Michael to give you an inside scoop of how we set our stones. But first, like we did last time, let's do a quick rundown of the ring we're creating today. Now Regina has picked out our gorgeous Emma setting, which is a classic oval solitaire with a hidden halo, and this one is in platinum. Now for our stone, this is a 1.5 carat F VS1 oval lab grown diamond. As always, starting off with burying the inside of the mount, and this is just creating the stone seat. These little grooves help to reinforce the stone and prevent it from rotating. We then see Michael filing the inner part of the claws and this just flattens that edge so they sit nice and flush with the stone. Now Michael's just continuing to burr and smooth out to that inner part of the setting so the stone can sit down perfectly. Now we're up to the fun part, the process of securing the diamond, where we see Michael bending the claws over the stone. During this step, it is essential to ensure the diamond is sitting level, so we can also see Michael pushing down on the stone in between adjusting the claws. is filing the claws which is done with a safety edge filed to ensure it does not damage the stone and this is essential for two main reasons one being the aesthetic it removes the look of clunkiness and too much metal being over the stone and secondly for practicality filing the claws so they sit flush on the stone will reduce the risk of snagging a claw not only does Michael shape the size of the claws into that perfect point, but also the top of the claws, again for that aesthetic so it doesn't look too clunky and to avoid snagging a claw. It's during this process as well where a technique called hammer setting is used on the claws and that again is to further set them down so they are as flush as possible. 
Another fancy technique our jeweler uses here is something called bright cutting and this is just to make sure that, again those edges of the claws are nice and smooth and not lumpy so then when we're filing them down later they're nice and smooth. Now just smoothing and perfecting the top of the claws. Thank you so much for watching Regina I hope you love your ring and your partner loves the ring now as always if you'd like me to film your ring leave your name below or send us a DM with your information and I'll try my best to film it I can't film everyone but if you're lucky enough I might just pick your name out thanks again for watching I'll see you next time